Yoga Guppy. Namaste and welcome to Yoga Guppy. I am Rashmi. Are you ready for a super fun yoga adventure with me? Before we begin, it's time for us to shake our bodies, get some magic in, and then I will tell you what yoga story we're doing today. So let's start with shaking your fingers. Shake your fingers, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders, shake your hips, shake your bum, shake your knees, shake your toes. Give your body a good shake, 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 and stop. Today we're going to meet some penguins and some walruses and go to a beautiful island called Paraguay. Are you ready? Let's go! Yoga Gapi! Once upon a time, there was this beautiful island called the Paraguay Islands. And the Paraguay Islands was filled with penguins. There were hundreds and thousands of penguins living all over the island. Now the head of all the penguins was Patsy the penguin. Can you first show me how to waddle like a penguin? Stand with your toes pointing out, with your fingers pointing out and show me how you waddle. Let's waddle like a penguin. Waddle, 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 waddle like a penguin. Very good. Now, these penguins were not very friendly. In fact, these penguins had a big signboard at their island that said, only penguins allowed. There were no other animals that were allowed in this island. The penguins had a great time together. They had built huge houses just like igloos. Can you become like one of these houses? Let's lie down on your back. Let's place your palms down close to your head and we're going to lift our bodies up. Are you ready? One, two, three. Let's lift up. Very good. And slowly come back down. Good job. So, as I was saying, the penguins love to spend time with each other. Now one day, these penguins heard a sound coming from close to the water. When they heard closer, it was a little walrus calling for help. Help! I can't find my mommy! Help! said the walrus. Can we first become like a walrus? Let's lie down on your back. Get your hands under your body. Join your feet together. Lift your chest up and drop your head to the back. And you know what? Walruses have big cheeks. Can you make big cheeks with your mouth? Very good. Let's slowly come back down and release your hands. Now these penguins didn't know what to do. They didn't know whether they should keep the walrus or whether they should not help him at all. You see, they were not very friendly. But Patsy the penguin, who was the leader of all the penguins, felt very bad for this little walrus. So they rescued the walrus and they got him to their island. This little walrus was very, very scared. He said, Hi, my name is Walter the walrus and I can't find my parents. Can I please stay here and can you please help me? The penguins didn't know what to do. Do you think they should allow Walter the walrus to stay in their island that is only meant for penguins? Do you think they should be kind to Walter the walrus? I think so too. And Patsy the penguin decided to be kind just for this one time. She said, okay, you may stay. Walter the walrus was relieved that he could stay with the penguins till he found his parents. And as time went by, the penguins really enjoyed Walter the walrus's company. Do you know the thing that Walter taught them? He first taught them how to make flapper slippers. 
he would attach the flaps to their feet and they would slide down the slopes. Show me how you do it. Bend your knees and let's go slide down, slide down, slide down and stretch your hands out. Very good. Stay there and stay balanced while you slide down. Very good. And do you know what else Walter taught them? Walter the walrus taught the penguins to make a group sled so that they could all sit together on the sled and slide down the snow mountains. Shall we do it together? Let's all sit down. Stretch your legs out. You can keep your knees bent. Lift your feet off. And let's go. And go. And go. Very good. Keep going. Keep going. Good job, everybody. Well done. Now, all the penguins really enjoyed Walter's company. And that made them wonder if they met other animals, would they have more fun with them? Maybe they would. Only because Walter was so kind and so fun, Patsy the penguin and all the other penguins decided to take down that board that said only penguins allowed. They decided to keep their island open for all other animals. And slowly, lots and lots of animals started coming in to this Paraguay island and all the penguins learned so much from all of them and they had so much fun. After a few months, Walter's parents also found their way to Paraguay Islands and they were so happy and so thankful that the penguins had been kind to their little Walter. I hope you learned your lesson of kindness and friendship and that you love today's yoga story. Remember to subscribe to Yoga Guppy so that you can learn yoga and have lots of fun with stories and breathing exercises and music and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Yoga Guppy! Hello and welcome to Yoga Guppy. I am Rashmi. Today we're going to learn a fun breathing exercise that's called the Santa Claus breath. Now, do you know how Santa Claus looks? He has a long white beard. Show me his long white beard. And he has a big belly. Can you show me how big his belly is? Yes. So, for the Santa Claus breath, you have to breathe in through your nose. And when you breathe out through your mouth, we're going to go Why are we saying that? Because Santa says Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, right? Let's do this together. So let's breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Let's try that again. Breathe in through your nose and let's go. Once again, breathe in. Now let's see, instead of doing three ho ho ho's, if we can do six ho ho ho's. Let's try, breathe in. Very good, let's try that one more time. Breathe in. Very good. Now we're going to do one more thing just like Santa. Okay, you're going to breathe in through your nose and then you're going to make your tummy very, very big and we're going to hold the breath there in your tummy for 10 counts. Okay, let's breathe in. Very good. I'm sure Santa is going to be very happy that you learned to breathe like Santa. And now that you have strong lungs, you're ready to have a nice Christmas party. I hope you enjoyed today's breathing exercise and come back for lots more on Yoga Guppy. Don't forget to subscribe to Yoga Guppy and I'll see you very soon. 
Yoga Gappi. Namaste and welcome to Yoga Gappi. I am Rashmi. Are you ready for a super fun yoga adventure? Before we begin, it's time for us to warm up our bodies and get some magic in so that we are ready to practice yoga along with the story. So what do we need to do? We are first going to start with shaking your shoulders. Let's go. Shake your shoulders. Shake your elbows. Shake your hands. Shake your knees. Give your body a good shake, 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 shake. And stop. Today we are going to learn all about how bears hibernate during winters with the story of Veera the bear. Are you ready? Let's go! Once upon a time, there was a bear named Bira. Can you become like Bira the bear? Let's come onto your hands and knees and you're going to lift your knees off and let's do the bear crawl. Now Bira went for a walk one morning and you know what happened? He looked around and he noticed that all the trees had started changing their colors. The leaves were not green anymore. Some leaves were orange, some leaves were red, some leaves were yellow. Can you become like a tree? Let's stand up straight, keep your back straight. Let's bend one knee, place your foot on your thigh, find your balance and slowly let's raise your hands up. Very good. Can we do the same thing on the other side? Let's bend your foot, keeping your foot on your thigh and slowly raise your hands up. Very good. Now Bira realized that it was the season that's called autumn. And in autumn, all the leaves start changing colors because they are preparing for winter. Now usually bears go to sleep all winter. It's called hibernation. And Bira knew that it was time for him to go into hibernation. And before he went in, he wanted to have a big party with all of his friends so that he wouldn't miss them through winter. So he decided to call up all his friends and get them to come for a party. Now, let's call all your friends. So let's pick up your telephones. You're going to pick up your telephone and let's dial the number. Let's dial the number and talk to your friends and invite them to come to your party. Very good. Let's try the same thing with your other leg. Let's dial the number and place your foot on your ear like a telephone. Very good. Now, Bira invited everybody from the jungle to his party. Did they all turn up? Yes, it was the evening of the party and the first friend that came was Tara the tiger. How will you become like Tara the tiger? Let's come onto your hands and knees and let's lift one leg up. Very good and show me how you roar like a tiger. Roar! Very good. Can you do it with the other leg? Lift your other leg up and roar. Roar! So Tara the tiger was the first one to arrive. She was so excited. She even brought a present along for Bira the bear. But do you know what? The moment Tara entered Bira's cave, she saw Bira fast asleep. Tara assumed that Bira had gone into hibernation. She decided to sit and wait for some time to see who else turns up. The next friend that turned up was Kavi the crow. Can you become like Kavi the crow? We'll first become like baby crows. Let's come onto your feet and show me how you join your palms together and sit down low like a crow. Very good. And how do we keep your hands down on your mat and become like a little bigger crow? Going to try and lift one leg up and come down. Lift your other leg up and come down. Very good. So Kavi the crow flew over to Bira's house. She was very excited to meet everyone because it had been a long, long time since she met anybody in the jungle. But when Kavi reached, she saw only Tara sitting all alone 
and Bira was fast asleep. So Kavi the crow and Tara the tiger decided to sit in Bira's house and wait for all the other friends to arrive and in the meantime they also lit a small fire so that they wouldn't feel very cold in Bira's cave. The next few friends who came along were Coco the chipmunk. Can you become like Coco the chipmunk? Now you're going to come onto your knees, stretch one leg out to the side and then you slowly stretch to the side. Very good. Chipmunks have long tails. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Ready? One leg out and stretch to the side. Good job. So, who was at Bira's place? Tara the tiger, Kavi the crow, Coco the chipmunk. The last person who came to Bira's house was Chandra the cheetah. And Chandra the cheetah was so scared, she thought she missed the entire party, she thought she was late. So Chandra came running very, very quickly. Can you become like Chandra the cheetah? Let's come onto your palms and onto your toes and let's start running. Let's run, let's run, let's run. Let's keep running like Chandra the cheetah. When Chandra reached, she saw everybody was sitting right next to Bira, waiting for him to wake up. Now, Chandra said, I'm going to try waking him up. And Chandra screamed loudly, Wake up, Bira! Open one eye and then open the other. He looked around and he saw so many of his friends around him. He still hadn't gone into hibernation, but he was happy all his friends joined in. They had the best party ever. They had so much fun. They sang lots of songs. They danced around all night. And in the morning, Bira woke up and saw all his friends sleeping in the cave next to him. He knew that he was going into hibernation very soon, but he knew once he woke up, his friends would always be there for him. I hope you also have a lot of friends who are always there for you and I hope that you enjoyed practicing yoga with this fun story of Veera the Bear. Remember to subscribe to Yoga Guppy and I hope you're practicing all the breathing exercises, all the yoga stories and the bedtime stories that you can listen to just before you sleep. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.